Hey guys, we just got back from the final film in the Avengers Phase 4 Marvel Universe Saga, Spider-Man Far From Home. Oh my god, we this have... This is a fucking 10 out of 10! Spider-Man here is himself! Go watch the film! Wow! It was amazing! Thank you! I did my own stunts! For gracing us with your presence, Spider-Man, taking time away from your busy day. Um... You honor us. Thank you. you Thank you. Kind of sound a little what? No. like my friend <laughs> you other crazy. Joe. You're crazy talk. That's crazy talk. No. Yeah? So the film was good? It was amazing. You, did you see it? Did I? You, I was in it. Oh, okay. I don't see my finished product. <laughs> you, <right>? did, <laughs> you did all that on screen. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're shorter in person. It's, it's, it's the camera, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. You're just a giant. I'm <laughs> Guys, no, we had a lot of fun in uh, Spider-Man: Far From Home, uh, and uh, so let's 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 talk about it. Uh, wow, it's actually very difficult to talk about the film without any spoilers. So I'm probably gonna make this section short, yeah, and we're but gonna make our spoiler section very very <laughs> large. Um, here's no clapping through movies. <laughs> here's the thing: is that your enjoyment of this film is probably gonna hinge. On how much you appreciate the way they handled Mysterio's character, uh, wh you know, and, and whether you have comic book knowledge or whether you do not have comic book knowledge. So, g guys, do you think Mysterio was was handled well in the film? No, he was not handled well. No. Okay. Mm, I don't want to go too much been, into yeah, it. Yeah, it could have been better. Okay. Okay. Um. Now, here's the th the film kind of surprised me. I know it is says far from home. We know Peter Parker is going on vacation, but I guess I just didn't really anticipate so much uh, vacation, uh, so much little quirkiness. The film starts very quirky. Yeah, it's very awkward. It's uh, a very you thought awkward. it was awkward. I like super awkward. I like opening. the awkwardness. Yeah, um, it's it's very fun. Very. You know, um, it's funnier than most of the Marvel films. It tries to be funnier. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think it all hits, but it tries. It's constantly trying to make you laugh. Yeah, not all the jokes land, yeah. uh, though many of them do, and it really leads to this feeling like a breath of fresh air after Avengers Endgame. Obviously, uh, you know that film is very, very serious. Uh, you know, it deals with serious consequences, and this film kind of is a um, you know makes light of a lot of the situations. Deals a little bit with the you know the fact that so many people have blipped out of existence uh we get to see how that sort of impacted things a little bit in a hilarious way and then of course uh peter and his class goes on vacation to europe uh and mm -hmm. as sort of a road trip film uh did how did you think that was it was fine. The, the thing is, like, this movie is, is enjoyable, and they get into hijinks, and they're in different countries, and there's a lot of, oh, you know, Venice is, the, it's flooding, and it stinks, and, you know, it, it's Venice, and then they go somewhere else, and then they go somewhere else, and there's every, everywhere they go, mm. the teachers are constantly being, and they are funny, like, both, I like, actually, both oh, actors yeah. quite a bit. JB, JB is great. JB, <laughs> JB Smooth, and then the, the other, uh, the other guy who I know from the league, and, um, Very funny Martin, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Martin. yeah, and so they're, they're they're very funny, mm -hmm. uh, and so I actually did like some of the things that they did there. But they kind of moved a lot, and mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, the story the story is not great. It's enjoyable, this, but this not great. story is a vacation film, and I think it's a love story more than I expected it to be. A love yeah. story in a vacation film, and in those particular aspects, I thought those were the best aspects of the film. Yeah. Uh, I think they handled it pretty well the mm -hmm. way they were doing uh, Peter Parker's story with uh, Mary Jane. I liked the interaction between them, mm -hmm. too, whenever yeah. they were on screen. You thought they I had believe, chemistry? Yeah, I believe oh, their yeah. chemistry. I wanted to see more of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I really, I, I, I do like the way that they kind of ripped off each other. They're they're supposed to be 60-year-old teenagers, but they're not. Like, they're probably, what, like 20 in the early 20s uh, yeah. or something. 17, they're like, I'm 16. It's like, no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. But. <laughs> um, you know, so we have, uh, you know, Peter dealing with, uh, obviously, uh, Iron Man's death. Uh, and whether he can, be, you know, fulfill his shoes and what he's going to do without his sort of father figure. Uh, the film is held up in that aspect, obviously, since we don't have uh, Robert Downey Jr. here as we did in the original. Uh, we That role is sort of filled by Samuel Jackson's character. Uh, also, John Favreau, Favreau is back as mm -hmm. Agent 
happy. Happy, right? Uh, and and these also re- well done. Oh, yeah, I thought, he's great. I thought good good uh, comedic uh, relief at times, but also um, they gave him some really cool advice when, when he needs it, really uh, poignant advice. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing I didn't like, mm-hmm. honestly, is when they were trying to hammer that, you're going to be the new Iron Man. They're right. really like hammering it like, I don't want to spoil it too much, but mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll tell you about it later. But okay. that point was like, you need to have Spider-Man grow into his own. Stop making him be mm-hmm. in the shadow. Right. This movie is about him, yet you're still making it about Robert Downey Jr. Mm-hmm. You need to stop. It does feel like it's forced into being the last film in the Phase 4. I think it's pointless in mm-hmm. as a film, as like... This honor of being the last film, it ties everything up. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, Ave- Avengers Endgame does. <laughs> this film could have very easily have been the first film in Phase 5. Yeah, yeah, um, I would have been fun with that. Right. And we have been avoiding talking about it. We're going to have to talk about the aspect with Mysterio, mostly in the spoiler section. Um, but I just I thought, I thought that this is where it sort of dragged down the film in a certain way and only with a qualification on how much comic book knowledge that you have. Um, I felt like the potential uh, wasn't realized. It was teased and it wasn't realized. And ultimately, there are so many plot holes <laughs> and sort of jumps in logic that you have to make for his character that I think that Mysterio maybe could have handled, been handled in a completely different way yeah. and have been executed better. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that that's the part of the film that I didn't... I, I, again, I don't want to... I'm going to stop talking about Mysterio. Okay, all right. So let's so just go. Let let's just go into final verdict. Okay. Yeah. Um, the film was a lot of fun. Uh, it made you laugh. It's an entertaining. Uh, would you recommend? Who's going to go first? Yeah, I would definitely Spider-Man, recommend. Spider Man, go first. Yes, of course. I would definitely recommend this movie. <laughs> you got to check it out. Part two. <laughs> right. Okay. But if, if Joe no, talked did. to you before, so Joe, what did Joe say about your film, oh, Spider Man? <sighs> He said a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> and whoop his ass. Okay. <laughs> no, I did like the chemistry between uh, MJ and, uh, like, I guess the supporting cast. Mm-hmm. They did a great job. Uh, the, cl- the, the ending needed some help. I, it wasn't just believable for me. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, um, Try not to spoil anything. It's yeah, it's hard. tough. It's tough. So the ending was a little rough on you. you yeah, you felt- and and again, the whole harping on uh, Iron Man mm-hmm. kind of didn't help the cause for me. But um, mm-hmm. throughout, do you, do I still you think had by a good the end time. of time. The- well, go ahead. I had a good time, and I did like the visual effects they did on this. Okay, that was very entertaining. How uh, they did yeah. certain things on that. Uh, well, Mysterio t- is obviously a master of illusion, <laughs> and so there's a man. lot of things that you can do. And there is one uh, sequence that really does pay that off. In fact, the final battle also has a really great action sequence. Let me do mention uh, there's a lot of action in the film, and yeah. I think that action does get paid off uh, in, in some ways. But it doesn't feel it's not world shattering. Okay, this is not an Avengers Endgame. Uh, epic threat level. It um, tried. It tried, but at the end, do you think Peter Peter is, par- is in a good yeah. position for the future? I think so. Like honestly, when I came out of there, I was at an eight. But over, like I was dwelling on it on the mm-hmm. way home. I think it's actually a seven. It's still a good watch. Though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about Alex? What do you think? I think this is is an entertaining movie, and I liked it. That being said, yeah, this movie needed to prove to me. The prove its existence, like its necessity to be the end cap for that big phase. And it didn't. Uh-huh. It, this movie doesn't need to exist as far as that phase is concerned at all. I think the storytelling was poor. I think that the the trailers did a huge disservice. Huge, huge disservice. And like there was there was Do things. You agree, Spider-Man? Yeah. There were things that could have been developed and that weren't. Um, and the, it, there was things that didn't make any sense. And the more it went on, the more I was hoping that they were going to mm-hmm. subvert our expectations. Yeah. And they and they didn't. It just it was absolutely transparent, predictable. <laughs> Every beat yeah. in the movie what you knew was going to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah. But that being said, it was enjoyable okay. almost every step of the way. Okay. But you realize it's like, look, the potential is this big. Our expectations are high because it's a Marvel Marvel film. It's supposed to be the end cap for a phase. And what we did is it just kind of went, uh, yeah. it doesn't quite get there. So I think this is a fun movie to watch. 
I would see this come over on. almost anything else. Come on, what's the verdict? What's the verdict? I'm going to say that this is a seven. So it's a good film. <laughs> but it's not a great film. Okay, Sp- uh, Spider Man. That was OJ's verdict that he told you before. What What do you rate this as? As spy- You know, 11. your opinion. Eleven. Oh, eleven, 11. out of ten. <laughs> Go see it. Oh yeah, it's okay. a must. Okay, buy gotcha. two copies. <laughs> buy two copies. Uh, my final verdict. It's much the same as these guys. Um, I want to give it an eight, but uh, when we analyze it, when we look at it further, uh, the way Marvel has marketed this movie as the uh, culmination of Phase Four, or you know, the the movie that's still a part of the Avengers yeah. Endgame Fallout. Uh, yeah. I think that is Phase Four, and then how they execute uh, Mysterio's character and a lot of the leaps in logic and. And I don't know, um, a lot of similarities that it has with, uh, you know, the previous film. We discussed it. We're about to discuss it in spoilers. And it brought it down from eight to a seven. It's still uh, a great Sevens. fun ride for me. I thought, uh, you know, Peter Parker, uh, by the end, really comes into his own. The ending has a great, uh, you know, sort of scene right there at the end with a surprise we'll talk about in spoilers. There is an after credit scene, so stay uh, for that. And I think Spider-Man is in a really good and interesting position now uh, going forward. But this film felt like, you know, almost a little unnecessary, like yeah. a vacation film that's just kind of plopped there at the end, um, kind of just to make money because they have to make another Spider-Man film because he's popular. Didn't really put it forth anything. You know. You shut your dirty mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was waiting for you. Okay, I apologize, uh, Spider-Man. Uh, so we'll go to the spoiler section. <laughs> 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 I'm I'm too lazy to put in the uh, the, 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 the effects, special yeah. effects. Use your imagination. <laughs> Use your imagination. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it. Uh, if you want to stick around and find out why it, it fell from an eight uh, to a seven, uh, that's going to be in the spoilers. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. <laughs>